Hello and welcome back to Vedic Vidara. So we are over here in the series of Shadabal. So in the series of Shadabal, we were talking about six different strengths of planets. We talked about positional strength, timely strength, permanent strength, the basic strength of planet, directional strength of planet. We also, in the last video, we talked about aspectual strength of planets. Okay, the vision. And now the last uh, main important strength is chastable. Now, uh, there is one, uh, there are some controversies sometimes. Youthable is again one strength when two planets are together sitting into one house then you have to deduct the strength of both this planet. But some people consider it to be taken into nicer people. Some people say consider it into uh, positional strength. But we'll understand it at last. <coughs> Since it is not necessary that all the planets are, come, uh, are in the same house or which planets are sitting in which house, every chart will have different planets. Uh, combine into different houses. <coughs> so, today's uh, topic was Chastable. Now, Chastable, as we can know from the uh, word itself, Chast is motional. Okay. How is the motion of the planet? Everything in Chastable is all about motion. Basically, so let's say we classified what indications different types of strengths gave planets. Like positional strength, we identified that the positional strength gives the characteristics of planet. Then we understood uh, timely strength. In timely strength, we talked about uh, what kind of uh, impact it would be. <coughs> yeah. strength we saw that what kind of impact a planet would give you after that was uh, directional strength which area of life it is going to bring a change then it was aspectual strength what would you what would happen to the fruits of that planet okay where the planet is giving you fruit then it was nicergic bulb, permanent strength, which is more stronger if two planets are together, which shall win, or which has more strength, comparative strength, we can say. But the chest bulb is all about, uh, uh, let's say, what kind of impact is going to make in the overall chart okay I would advise to compare the chaste bull of the planets with Jarakarakas Chastable is dependent on the how the planet is placed in motion. Okay, and we talked about uh, these uh, motions of planet into our some previous video. I can remember when we were talking about uh, you can you can see the this into planet avastas videos in the playlist of planet avastas i have talked about all these uh, motions of different planets 
so again we'll revise it and we talked about uh, the regular motion types of motions were vakra and vakra vikal mand mandacha samachar adichar okay from lowest we are from reverse to speed we are going like that okay vakra means a retrogression the opposite of vakra is marga vakri and margi we can say vakra is going in the reverse direction okay so whenever the planet is going in the reverse direction it is a retrograde and again we all know in the previous video if you are going video line by line okay so we know that how is strength measured strength is measured in virupa the unit the unit is virupas so whatever the planet the planet in whatever motion it is okay so in that motion itself we have different kind of strength okay and that strength is measured in virupas so if a planet in a is a retrogression okay we all know how retrogression is that a planet is moving like this planet is moving like this because of a solar wind and its irregular motion into gravity what happens for a while there is an impact which slows down its so we give an impact so it slows down its motion and again it goes into the basic speed again for a time it is slow and again it is fast so if we zoom it okay so what is happening it is going in a fast motion then it is being slowed like this and again it is going in the fast motion okay getting it so what happens over here is when it is going in the fast motion and when it is slowed down and it is reversed for a time lapse and again it is going fast so that time lapse when it is just like this okay so that is retrogression every most of the planet go in retrogression except sun and Moon. Okay, sun is stable. Moon never goes in retrograde. So, any planet in retrograde motion will get sixty virupa. Will get the strength of sixty virupa. Now there are many different ideologies on retrograde planets, how it functions. Okay, what I usually understand is any planet which is in retrograde motion is definitely going to give you results but it is going to demand the opposite thing focus on the word i am emphasizing okay i am not saying the planet is giving you the opposite thing i am saying the planet will demand the opposite thing okay say saturn is in retrograde okay so it is not demanding patience it is telling you not to be too much of patient <coughs> act okay so it is demanding the opposite thing say saturn is a planet which is there for uh, you to resolve your karmas but if saturn is retrograde it means that you don't have pending karmas but you need more karmas Order to finish your soul cycle. I say Jupiter is in retrograde. Okay, so it is not that you need knowledge; you need to spread knowledge. Okay. I say Mercury is in retrograde. You need to stop communicating so much. Stop gossiping. Okay. You need to minimize your energy flow. we will we will not go so much detail into it we are just going into the calculative aspect of chestable so chestable we are giving different marks to planets according to its motion first one is retrograde if the planet is going in retrograde motion it is getting 60 virupa marks okay if the planet is in retrograde we give it 60 virupa marks then 
uh, we say retrograde as vakra or vakra after vakra is anu vakra which means that it is entering another sign while it is going into retrograde okay say uh, saturn is uh, saturn is in aquarius right now okay so let's say saturn is in aquarius okay let's say this is the aquarius and this is capricorn okay so saturn was going into normal motion in aquarius but now it has went into retrograde so now it is going reverse okay for some time so when it goes reverse and crosses one zodiac and goes to the previous zodiac so that time when it crosses and goes to the previous zodiac that is called <coughs> anu vakra so that is not vakri that is anu vakri so one step lower because even see planet is going in reverse but since it is changing it changing the sign okay the sign is being changed it is moving from one sign to another sign but not regularly in reverse direction so because of the change of signs okay because the sign is changing the vakra effect is going to reduce consider changing signs as changing clothes say saturn is changing sign okay which means saturn was changing its clothes say in capricorn he was wearing joggers after that it went into aquarius and now it wore trousers but when it went into retrograde it again had to change his clothes and go into joggers so while the transition was taking place saturn was busy changing the joggers uh, say changing its trousers to joggers okay so over here the effect of a retrogression would be reduced why because it is already changing its characteristics getting my point so there would be half characteristics of aquarius and half characteristics of capricorn you can see this anu vakra in particular applications especially computer softwares in mobile softwares you won't find accurate detail about whether the planet is vakra or anu vakra for that you need to shift timings and see that okay 5 minutes uh, before it was in aquarius and after 5 minutes it is in uh, capricorn that means that this was the time of changing signs okay so that time that is not vakri but anu vakra okay in this case the uh, points we give them is 30 30 virupas okay so we give 30 virupas to anu vakra planet planet which is going in retrograde but changing the sign okay don't call it gandhat okay don't confuse it with gandhat any sign any planet changing any sign in retrograde motion it is called anu vakra there uh, the strength is reduced and we give 30 virupas now after uh, vakra anu vakra is uh, vikal vikal is planet is not moving it is sthir okay which means the planet does not have any motion when does this actually happen it actually happens when the planet is turning into retrograde or turning into direct motion okay it happens in only in a uh, short duration okay say the planet is going into retrograde or it is coming back from retrogression okay in that s- small duration the planet is in vikal state which is zero state okay in vikal we give 15 virupas how many marks we give 15 whenever planet is in slow motion rather than normal motion doesn't mean it is retrograde or it is direct if whether it is retrograde or direct if the motion of the planet is slower than usual it is called mand motion okay it is slower than usual for some instance not always 
and that month uh, motion A will get uh, 30 Viru Pass of Okay. Then it is Mandata. What is the difference between Mand and Mandata is one is slow, another is slower. Okay. So Mandata is slower, Mand is slow. Getting the facts right? When it is even slower, when the planet is even slower, it is getting slower, okay, more slower, then it is Mandata. Any planet in Mandata Ravastha will get uh, fifteen Virupas. Any planet in Manda uh, Manda uh, Vastha will get thirty Virupas. In Mandata Ravastha will get fifteen Virupas. So this was month and month other. when the planet is slow and the, when the planet is slower okay and again you need to check uh, our stars you need to check my playlist of planet our stars in detail i have talked about when the planet is in which condition okay and i guess we'll get some detailed knowledge on that thing in that playlist i can't discuss everything in every playlist we are just focusing on virupas and calculation of shadwaras so, Vakra Anuvakra Mand Mandata. Okay. Retrograde, going in opposite direction. Going in opposite direction and changing the signs. Then it is becoming slow. When it's when it's slow. Then it is becoming even slower. Okay. Then it is Sam. As the name suggests, Sam is balanced. When the blend is in normal motion. It's regular motion. The basic meaning of Sam is balanced. You know, Sam with Sam with is nothing but uh, a wave which is comprising of uh, hymns and mantras from Rig and Yajurved, both. Okay, some mantras which would balance both the Vedas. Okay. So the word Sam itself is balanced. Sam, Samana, Samanta. Sam. So, Sam is balanced. When the planet is in normal avastha, it is in, let's say, it is going in normal state, okay. So, it is going to get 7.5 in pass. How many marks? 7.5 in pass. After Sam, it is Char. Char is when it is moving fast, faster than usual. Okay. A bit faster. From usual, it is moving a bit faster. I won't say combust. Okay. Somewhat faster. It is char. And the blend in char avastha will get 45 virupas. Strength of 45 virupas. Okay. And last but not the least is aticha, which is even faster. When the blend is moving at its fastest speed, even faster than the fastest. Okay. It is Aticha. And a planet which is in Aticha will get 30 Virupas. 30 Virupas of strength. Okay. So, from uh, Vakra. Vakra is 60 Virupas. Maximum amount of strength. Then it is Anu Vakra 30. Uh, then it is Mand 30 again. Then it is Mandatar 15. Then it is. Uh, no. Vakra 60, Anu Vakra 30. Then it is Vikal, that is 50. Then Mand 30, Mandatar 50. Then it is Char, which is. No, then it is Sam which is 7.5 then it is Char which is 45 and then it is Ati Char which is again 30 we are missing the board right now because of all the uh, Diwali cleaning it is uh, very difficult to set mobiles and what we say board here and there because of cleaning we are missing the board but I guess in the last uh, video I will again bring the board so that we can understand uh, the total which we say is pinned. Okay. 
But yes, I will bring the board in the next video. We are missing the board, that's why we have some issues. Anyways, so this was testable. Not so much to uh, uh, conclude into testable because we, we learnt a lot about movements of planet into planet avastas video. Over here, we are just focusing on giving marks. Okay, so in the Shadbal, what we are focused is we are just giving marks. Just because we are talking, we are talking in a way we could understand how this mark sheet is created. Okay, so again one more time. Vakra is 60. 60 Virupas of marks for Vakra planets. Anu Vakra is 30. Then uh, Vigal is 50. Mand is 30. Mandatar is 15. Sama is 7.5. Char is 45. And Ati Char is 30 Virupas. So you again make a list of your blends, see in which avasthas they are, whether it is Vakra, Anuvakra, Mand, Mandatar, Sam, Chara, Tichara, any one. Give accordingly Virupas, how much Virupas it is. Give marks accordingly. So, this is about Cheshtaban. We are not going to go so much detail into Cheshtaban because motions of planet is a very detailed thing. Because uh, even conjunctions uh, change the motion of planet. Let's say uh, any planets like uh, Jupiter, Venus, Mercury is conjoined with Mars. Uh, now, because of Mars and because of the Graha Yutta, Mars is going to. Mars is going to destroy the motional or the chestable of other planets that's why the speed will be reduced so any planet if jupiter venus mercury is sitting with mars it is going to reduce its speed okay so uh, there are many such criteria which uh, uh, will affect the chestable and we are not here to discuss all those criteria we are just here to basically understand uh, how to give marks to planets and for detail, uh, I would say please refer the Planet of Asta video. You will get a lot of insights. And uh, in the next video, we are going to talk about uh, what is the total, how to get the total, how much fair amounts of points are needed for a planet to be good. Okay, let's say Sun, Mercury, and Jupiter should get around 112 points of chest in total to be fairly placed good moon and venus together should get uh, 100 points 100 virupas okay to be fairly placed and mars and saturn should get uh, i guess 60 marks 60 65 67 i guess 67 if i'm not wrong 67 marks for being fairly placed Okay, if the marks is lesser than this, uh, the plants are going to create some problems in your life. If the marks are higher than this, the chestable is good. Plants are giving you good result. If a bad planet is there, a malefic plant in a malefic sign it is placed, and the chestable is less, then it means it is giving you less difficulties. See, this is a very important point I was forgetting. A good planet sitting in good sign and the chest bell is more which means you are getting more help from good people a good planet sitting in a bad sign in a bad condition with a lot of chest bell which means you are getting more trouble from bad people but if a bad planet is placed in a bad house and the chest ball is less if the chest ball is less then you are getting very less trouble getting my point land is good 
टेस्टेबल इज गुड वेरी गुड लेट इट इज बैड टेस्टेबल इज गुड वेरी बैड बैड थिंग्स आर इंक्रीजिंग बिकॉज बैड प्लेट इज हैविंग मोशनल स्ट्रेंथ गुड प्लेट्स आर हैविंग मोशनल स्ट्रेंथ वेरी गुड गुड थिंग्स आर इंक्रीजिंग बैड गुड प्लेट्स आर हैविंग मोशनल स्ट्रेंथ गुड थिंग्स इंक्रीज बैड प्लेनेट्स हैव मोशनल स्ट्रेंथ बैड थिंग्स इंक्रीज विच इज बैड बट इफ बैड प्लेनेट्स हैव बैड मोशनल स्ट्रेंथ देन बैड थिंग्स आर रिड्यूज टू वेरी गुड ओके सो से मार्स is a malefic natural malefic planet and this natural malefic planet is uh, sitting in the 12th house and but because of so many conjunctions uh, the mars is losing its emotional strength so what happens the bad things of mars will not come in birth there will, there will be very less bad things of mars yeah, bad things will be there but since the emotional strength is also not there the bad things won't affect you in your life getting my point say jupiter is in third house it's debility uh, maran karak star but the chest bully is not at all there okay so what happens is the bad ill effects of jupiter will be there but it is not going to affect you so much because the chest bully is not there the effect is not coming to you or you are easily able to uh, sustain the effects getting my point good planet with good chest bell very good bad planet with bad chest bell is also very good why kharabi kharabi ochi sari sari vastu vadare sari simple as that okay so i guess this is all about chest ball uh, i'll be coming back with the board uh, so we can finish with the shot ball series today uh, so again please make some uh, notes and uh, start making columns if you want to learn shot ball correctly make a column for positional strength make a column for timely strength make a column for directional strength make a column for nicergic strength make a column for uh, aspectual strength and now at last but not the least make a column for emotional strength that is chest ball so now you have six columns which is six types of strength shad ball shad which is six okay now all you have to do is to total it for each planet you will total the marks for each planet you are going to total the marks okay now there was one thing i guess in the last video previous video or in the previous video i made a mistake that i explained to you about giving marks in some more different ways but anyways i'll correct it in the uh, yuddh bal i am talking about in the next video with the board i I'll, i'll be coming back with the board we were uh, just looking in the previous videos so thank you very much we were in the chest bal today emotional strength and it was nice concluding this lecture in the last lecture of this series we are going to talk about the total how to make total of the planet and what is the minimum total one planet should have for it to be fairly placed and uh, then uh, we might also go into comparative analysis okay so thank you very much for joining uh, into shad bal series of chest bal we'll be coming back with yuddh bal and for uh, any reference i would suggest please check the planet avasthas videos i'll be sharing link over here thank you very much